Hey, welcome to Rational Funk. Is this thing on? <laughs> We're here in New York City at the Great Jazz Standard. Um, and I'm with my longtime uh, band, The Bad Plus, but really my really longtime bandmate, my dearest friend and uh, closest musical uh, comrade for 30 plus years, the great Reed Anderson is our guest today on Rational Funk. Reed Anderson. Um, basically, this episode is going to focus on the delicate, beautiful, deep relationship between the bass and the drums, the rhythm section of any band, the, the engine room, as we call it in the Bad Plus, like really where the center of the music comes from. It's such an important relationship. And, um, you know, we haven't discussed much other than drums in the show, um, I suppose, for 58 episodes now. Um, and uh, Reed is a fan of Rational Funk. He's, he's watched it many times. He likes what we're doing here. And I was like, you know what, man? Let's give the bass player some. Because sometimes the bass player, you know, <laughs> right, Reed? <laughs> the bass player is like, hey, hey, I'm over here. You know what I mean? Sometimes you feel like. I got to get my own r version of Rational Funk. Yeah, well, let, let's let that gestate for a while. You can. You can just be on my show and just do your thing. And, and what his thing is, is hooking it up with the drums, right, Reed? It's important that the bass and the drums are on the same frequency. We, we feel the beat at the same spot. We, we undulate at the same time. We do all those things. It's a deep relationship we've had 30 plus years, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, that's how we do it here. And, and so all of you out there who are trying to form really deep relationships with your, if your drummer's forming your deep relationships with your bass player, hook the bass player up every now and again. Humor them with their like need to like bass solo or whatever. Hey, it's cool. Let the bass player play a little solo. You don't have to, I mean, you don't have to dig it. You don't have to believe in that and nobody, you know, it's a controversial thing, a bass solo, but like it can be cool sometimes when people. Do. But today we're focusing on the way we play together for 30 plus years, hooking it up together. We feel the time in this, and it's important to, to communicate, right? How we communicate with each other is very, very. There's a tele there's a telepathy, there's a depth of history with each other. Where I feel it, where you feel it. It's pretty usually pretty right there. Let's play a little time. You want to play a little time for the folks on Rational Funk, man? Okay. Play a little blues? Cool? Yeah. yeah. Rhythm yeah. section on Rational Funk. Let's go. One, two. One, two, three. Oh. Read with me. One. I'm counting it. I'm set. One. Two. One. Two. My baby. Four. No, man. We're, when I counted in, remember we talked about this. We talked about this in the early 90s, but we're talking about it again now. I lay this. Just do it. Just count, just count it again. One, two. Read. <clears throat> read. One, two. Rhythm section. Two, three. What was that, man? You threw me off there. <laughs> Dude, what is with this like meeting to express? I count it when we play a song. Okay. Okay? You don't need to express yourself all the time. Let's get into a groove and then just, get there, man. I just think you're... It feels like you're rushing. Oh, no, know. I'm not rushing. Now, let it gestate before you start going like... I'm bibbidi ray read bibbidi read I'm read <laughs> Let it, you know, sizzle, man. You, like, throw everything when you cook in the oven at, like, 4,000 degrees, man. Let it preheat. One, two, preheat. Two, two, three. Stick with me, man. Let's don't give up so easy. We're just getting in there, babe. Like we've been doing it for 30 years. One, two, three, four. Read right here. What? I guess I just don't, to me this doesn't feel good. To me, to me you f it feels like you're thinking about it, like you're thinking about it too much. You're not like feeling it as much as you need to. Music is about, 
It's like, this is an emotional art form, man. This isn't like always cerebral. I know you want it to be, but I'm just telling you where it is. Listen to me, man. The drums are the, the heartbeat of the music. One more time. Let's you know, do this and get it done because both of us have some place to go. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We got it. Come on. We're cool, right? We're friends. Many years. One, two, three. If you stop one more time, honestly, man, if you stop one more time, just keep playing. Where are you going? I'm sorry. Oh, you're done. Where are you going? You know, <laughs> okay, it's a drum-centric show, okay, and it's like I'm t all the point I'm making is <laughs> is so simple. Where I'm laying it in there, I'm sure it's pretty obvious. The the drums and the bass have to play together, but the drums really. The bass player has to come. We don't come to the bass. The bass comes to us, and we've been talking about that forever. Check out. Bands like Van Halen, does it sound like, you know, Michael Anthony is going like, but hey, hey, it's over here, Alex Van Halen, or in Led Zeppelin, you think John Paul Jones is sitting around going, um, maybe I better push around John Bonham, or something like that, you know what I mean? He doesn't need to be an aggressive thing. Aggression, there's no room for aggression in a rhythm section relationship, okay? There's no room for it. And let me tell you something else. Man, how does it get into that zone? I mean, I don't understand how it gets there so quickly, you know? I mean, we've been playing together for so long. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I just was trying to find the center of the... I think I lost a tooth, man. Am I missing a tooth? Did you knock my tooth out? Rhythm sections are... Hey, man. Rhythm... For the rhythm sections out there. All right. I'll see you later. I'll see you at the van. Thanks for tuning in. Ah.